everybody Ann here. I was just sitting here having my coffee. I had already let the all of the chickens out, but I just let the four leghorns free range. And then right out my window over there, I heard a cockle-doodle-doo. And guess what I found? <laughs> well, looky here. I only let the leghorns out to free range, and look who's joined them. And they're up on the hill. All four of them. And Romeo is out here with them. Well, I was thinking of having Cody and Hannah over to free range all the chickens, but it looks like they're all staying together. So now I need to see where the little girls are. Hey, Romeo. I guess you found your way out. <laughs> and you stuck by your girls. You stuck right by them. Oh, you're such a good rooster. Well, it looks like we've got the little girls in here. Kind of just taking a little nap. I think I'm going to open the doors and let them free range and just see how they do. I'm going to call Hannah and Cody over and see if they want to come help supervise. It's a little cold outside, so they might not, but we'll see. All right, they're all out now. Let's see if these leghorns are going to be nice and if the whole flock will stick together or what will happen. Oh, please let this go well. Please, 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 please let them not just scatter all to the wind. I think it's going to be fine. Oh, now don't get bossy, sister. I'm just going to walk around with them. See how they do. Look how big they're getting. Look how pretty this one is with the brown feathers. <sighs> I like them to all stay together. <laughs> of course, I don't know if that's going to happen. Looks like Romeo has control of the situation. He just keeps kind of Hurting them one way or the other. Ain't he pretty? Listen, he's listening. He's listening. What you doing, Rudy? I mean, not Rudy, Romeo. <laughs> yep, he's watching them good. Yeah, I don't have Judy out right now. Just so that we can make sure this goes well. Yep, they all go running up to each other. It looks like they're kind of wanting to stick together. Oh, you meanie. You need to get in between those girls, Romeo. You beautiful rooster. Oh, Romeo, don't get my Cali Lily, or Kenny Lilies, Kenny, so however you pronounce it. You are so pretty. I love you, rooster. Romeo. <laughs> You're the prettiest rooster ever. Oh my gosh, look at this. How high can you go? You crazy chicken. Yeah, you guys like to get up high, don't you? So sweet. Well, two of the lake horns are back in the coop. So yeah, they know they can go in and out. Oh, this is a relief. I'm just going to keep watching them all day long, keep doing a head count all day long, just to make sure they're all still around. Oh. Romeo, you scared the you-know-what out of me. It's okay. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You are so pretty. Handsome. Pretty handsome. Yep, he went back in. I bet you all of the girls will go back in now. I'm gonna leave these doors open, just sit out here and enjoy my day with the chickens. I think maybe while I'm out here, I might as well go replenish the wood stock, the wood, the wood stock, the wood pile. So yeah, that's a good activity to do. Gotta get my gloves, gotta get my saw. Where's my saw? Where's my saw? It's right there. And get some wood. Got Judy out now, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think they know she can't get past a certain point, so hopefully there won't be any tangles. We'll see. I'm just doing my layers. The first layer is going to be tiny kindling wood. The next layer is going to be bigger kindling wood. And then the next layer after that is going to be, well, hopefully some logs. Got the first layer done, and I took care of that whole pile over there. I took the leaves off. 
I generally don't bring the leaves in to burn because they just seem to really smoke so much. So I've got them all down to this size. I don't know if I can do anything with this wood. I'm just not sure. I'm going to give it a try. Normally, the first thing I do to try and break up a piece this big is sometimes I can break it with my hand. As I get down that way, I know I won't be able to. But sometimes I can just put it on a thing like this and stomp it, and it'll break. So let's see if I can do that. Oops, i got to move this other big one out of the way. All righty. Let's hope it works. Yes, indeed. And I'll just go through several times and do that. Whoops, that's a little bit too hard. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with this one. Ah! <laughs> yeah. All right, this. What do you think? You think I'm going to be able to stomp this one? I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. Nope, it's not going to do it. <laughs> Got to get the machete out. Another workaround I found is if I use the saw blade of the machete and saw it down just a little bit, I can then stomp on it and get it to break. So let me give that a try. Let's see if I can boot stomp this one. I don't know. It's pretty thick. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, looks like the little girls have had their fill, at least for the time being. And they're inside here, roosting. And all the others, including my beautiful rooster, are still out free ranging. So this is encouraging. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about this. Whew, I gotta tell you, it may not look like it, but this wood is starting to get pretty thick. I'm finding that I'm having to saw it almost all the way through uh, before I can boot stomp it. So I don't know if I can get this, this last little piece of this done. Maybe I should try and find a smaller piece. I've broken up all the smaller pieces. See that? I have sawed it almost all the way through and I'm still not able to boot stomp it. So I'm gonna just finish this off with a saw and put this piece of wood aside. For a little bit later. I think a couple of those might be a little bit thinner. So I'm going to see if I can break some of those up. I think that's enough for today. It'll last me, uh, I don't know, a couple days. But if I'm going to do that apple butter, I'm going to need a lot more wood because it's going to take all day to make it. Yeah, I think that's a good day's work. I went ahead and took that plastic uh, trash can and just replaced it with this box. I know the box is going to wear out after a while after it gets wet and not whatnot, but uh, I'm going to take that inside. It just holds things a little bit better, looks a little bit nicer. <sighs> yeah, well, I think that's about all I'm going to be able to get done today. All right, what are the girls up to? All right, how many do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Romeo, one, two, three, four. Yep, this rooster has things under control. Let's just see if they all come back. Yep. Yeah. All the little girls out there and one leghorn, Patsy, she's the smallest one, they're all out there foraging together. The other leghorns are in the little chicken cage. And they're just doing great. I mean, they go all the way off into the woods over there. They don't go all the way to the street. Um, but they always come back. So this, this is very promising. I'm just so relieved because I really want them to be able to free range. Now, I probably will not leave the property when they're out there running around because they're stray dogs, you know. You don't know if they're going to do something. You just don't know. But Romeo has proved himself to be an absolutely magnificent rooster thus far. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Look, I had to change my shirt because it was getting so hot I was doing all that sawing. Anyhow, one of these days I'll make a, a video of me actually doing the work so you can believe that I, I can do it. And that's a lot of work, but I need a lot of wood. Um, I imagine that apple butter is going to take six to eight hours to cook down, so it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to go take a little break, and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get started on that today. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.